Away from the din of the city's concrete jungles, Singapore International School's unique non-vertical infrastructure is set amidst nature on eight acres of sprawling land in Dhaisar, Mumbai. I've always believed uh, that uh, environment is the third teacher, uh, and uh, basically. Uh, in any particular setting, a lot of care and attention has to be given to develop that environment. And at SIS, uh, we have made uh, and put a lot of effort in uh, developing this environment, which offers a unique opportunity and a living space uh, for learning to grow. In, and the entire educative process evolves from there. The learning environment at SIS is very supportive in a way that uh, children are able to interact, communicate and imagine. And the entire environment fuels their imagination. We also feel that, you know, environment is very critical to support the learning process and uh, it allows children to create, think and construct. Established with a vision to be a global school, the Singapore International School stays true to its commitment of providing high-quality, comprehensive international education to all its students. Exactly. A population of 500 students on campus is promised a hands-on experience at mastering the perfect balance between challenge and knowledge. The school offers multiple co-curricular facilities with its three academic programs, primary year program, international general certificate of secondary education program and international baccalaureate program. In our school, we give three programs. One is the PYP curriculum, then we follow through IGCC in the middle school and then the high school we give the diploma program. Now, as you know in the PYP, it give a lot of importance uh, to the students, um, the student centered, okay, and they learn from the environment and they, it is an inquiry based learning. So, you know, we give emphasis on critical thinking because that will help the students uh, to uh, learn in a better way. And we involved, uh, family and all that because uh, from there also uh, they get a lot of resources and all. Later on, um, this learning is quite fun, okay? But then we need to give them a little bit structured. Now you might question me that ma'am, PYP it's not structured. It's structured but it's quite open. Teachers are empowered to make their, you know, own way uh, they're all different pedagogical leaders that how you want to teach, what are the things you're going to relate and you're going to put in the class. So the child is quite you know, happy and child is, you know, doesn't have that much of you know, a boundary line. But when they will come to the later in the Cambridge and later on IB, we need to be a little structured. So that's why in the high school, we follow the Cambridge curriculum. Uh, which also have a lot of interdisciplinary and transdisciplinary approach. What from the PYP they learn is that the practical things, hands-on, so we emphasis on that. It's about inculcating them not just about teaching the subject areas but also about what we call as approaches to learning, meaning your time management skills, your thinking skills, your self-management skills. Right. And children in the IB program 
students here need to perhaps develop a lot of time management and organizational skills. Yes, this is a challenge. However, this is all implanted in our subject areas and as I said, it's a process of growth. Focusing on innovative methodologies for teaching, the school engages the students in interactive learning while incorporating technology as an important tool in the process. It's mainly a matter of helping them become more aware of their own learning, aware of their own learning style, um, help them see how they can grow in different ways as learners, and uh, helping them to learn to negotiate social relationships, to communicate effectively, uh, to do research, uh, to develop all sorts of skills and uh, attitudes that are important for their learning. I think the Primary Use Program is of terrific value and uh, I would much rather be teaching in this sort of program than in any other. It's, it's the right program for children. They need to take charge of their own learning. They need to know from a very early age that learning is something you do for the intrinsic satisfaction of increasing your own skill, your own knowledge, your own power, and not something that you do for the pleasure of others or for a grade. So um, this program is, is a very, very fine one for children and teachers too, of course, and the parents appreciate it. Individual attention given by teachers and also focusing not only on academics, we just didn't want that, okay, maths teacher has to be excellent, the sciences have to be super, uh, the languages. Other than that, we wanted a focus on other activities, a wholesome all-round development for the child, sports, art and craft. And that I saw helped my children a lot in both of them. They are literally transformed and we could see their uh, personalities coming forth, shining forth. With an intensive curriculum and world-class amenities, the school extends each student a chance for all-round development. State-of-the-art design studios, an extensive pottery program, a unique film program. Okay, action. You want to be able to go? I'm not going to. A dance studio and a music studio are just some of the myriad features of this global institution. When, when students learn music, they uh, uh, learn to play in a group, am I right? Playing in a group means understanding each other, a sort of uh, tolerating each other, am I right? And correcting each other. That's how we learn the other aspects of uh, education, uh, not only the academics. Proper music learning uh, teaches all these, the music involves emotions, am I right? In, in every piece of music there is something that uh, the, the composer wants to say, am I right? But, they, but they, they, if the student understand that piece and express, I think then I think uh, that particular piece is justified because they, the, the composer wants to say something through that, through that piece. Whether, whether there's the warmth or, or sometimes there's a frustration or there's the agitations or things like that, but I think it all depends on how these students are taught to express through that. It's like poem, am I right? Long day without you, my friend, and I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. Here at SIS, we follow the servant um, leadership model in which I would not ask any of my fellow students to do anything that I myself am not willing and able to do or I'm not able to show them how to do. And that's the kind of leadership we believe in because it's friendly and it works and it's easier to get people to work with you in that manner. In our school, the holistic development is taken care of by something what, what we call the pearls. So PEARLS includes the participation element, your um, representation in school, your attendance, your leadership skills and your service. 
So our school, what it does is it, it incorporates everything that's extracurricular into your curriculum. So it's, it's no longer considered to be an extracurricular activity, but a part of our curriculum. So I think that's what, that's what makes our school unique is because it does not think of these activities as outside the syllabus, but very well within the syllabus. Apart from academics, I think what Singapore National um, offers is uh, something we call the three C's. Uh, one is confluence, conquest and converse. Uh, running through them, Conquest is an inter-school event we've hosted for around eight years now where we call in uh, different schools from Mumbai as well as outskirts, uh, for example, Emirate Heights School in Indore. And we have different um, competitions with their competitive edges uh, like essay writing, we have a debate, we have a quiz. And uh, these aren't the normal inter-school quizzes you have. Uh, these are sta um, what you expect at a national level of that um, aptitude. And uh, I think what we do at Confluence is we try to change everything every year, make it better while keeping the rubric intact. On the other side, we touch upon Singapore International School's many achievements and its secret to success. Stay tuned.